what can we expect to see in the future? In our first video, we focus on what is Juniper Beyond Labs, why Juniper created, and why it matters to our industry. In our second video, we talk about the positive impact Beyond Labs is already having on our industry. In this video, I'd like to discuss where you're going next with Beyond Labs. So, Jay, what should our industry expect to see from Juniper Beyond Labs in the next two, three years? I'd start with innovative solutions in key focus area of AI, cloud automation. Um, one of the key focus of ours is harnessing the power of AI uh, to simplify the network operations and deliver a better connected experience. Also focusing on the evolution of 5G, especially private 5G, sustainability is the other one, and harnessing of the other advanced technologies like quantum communications. One other key focus area is NAS or Network as a Service. We do envision a future where operators can bring up an end-to-end -end network instantly on demand and ramp it down when it is not needed through slicing. So you can also expect to see a growing ecosystem with more academic technology and, and customer partners because innovation is never done alone. Totally agree. I couldn't agree more with that, Jay. And let's talk a little bit about sustainability. How will Juniper Beyond Labs help our industry become more sustainable? We are fully committed to delivering sustainable solutions, right? So we continue to invest in new generation of silicon. Uh, for example, the latest Trio chipset, it is 73% more power efficient when compared to the previous generation. The other one is the Express or PTX chipset is 49% more power efficient. So we are always continuing to improve upon the previous generation to deliver those efficiencies. Uh, then there are multiple initiatives in our lab right now that are focused on reducing overall system and network power. How can we turn on and off certain parts of the network, even down to smaller components like fans when it is not in use, right? Um, there are other cooling techniques that we are using for data centers, liquid cooling, immersion cooling, all this to minimize the cost of cooling these big data centers. What are your final thoughts or comments you would like to share with our audience as we close out our uh, video series on Beyond Labs? Now is an exciting time for our industry. Uh, there's like new technologies like AI, ML, quantum communications, cloud native software, all enabling us to connect, communicate and advance the state of our industry faster than ever before. However, it will also be a time of disruption and of leaders and laggards, right? And we definitely want to lead. Our investment in Beyond Labs is focused on enabling this greater innovation for our industry. And as I was mentioning, innovation cannot be done alone. It requires collaboration and ecosystem. So we need the industry to come with us. Um, so get involved, check out our pathfinding projects, and subscribe to stay up to date with Beyond Labs. Awesome. Uh, thank you so very much for your time and for this series, uh, Jay. Uh, I think there is a lot to, to learn more about, uh, and we're going to, to check all the, the links that, uh, that we'll be sharing this video. Yeah, it's been a pleasure, Harold. Thank you very much. My pleasure too.